Gem and Jess, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is going to be my whip and chat, aka work in progress and chat challenge. That uh, Miss Crochet, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee is actually doing for YouTube creators. Um, so shout out to her. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, basically, the creators need to do an hour long whip and chat um, in order to participate. So. This will be my, well, hopefully, hour-long uh, whip and chat. So, get comfortable, and if you haven't already, um, grab whatever it is you're working on, and let's diamond paint together, shall we? Um, uh, yeah, so, oh, also, disclaimer, you might hear noise in the background, such as vehicles, sirens, dogs barking, or people talking. If you do, then I'm apologizing in advance. My backyard's literally a freeway exit. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, I am working on still, I'm actually almost done, can't really tell because of the plastic sheet, but um, on Splatter Alien from Diamond Art Club, I'm loving this canvas, even though it is a partial drill, it's my first partial drill, so um, I don't really have any other experience to compare it to, but I like it, It especially because I have like mad ADHD, but, um, but I also do miss the whole like diamond canvas effect you know like and it is kind of confusing sometimes because I'm so used to just like having sectioned off you know but I can't really do that here so it's different but I freaking love the quality I love the colors I mean people aren't lying when they say diamond art club is probably like it is the best like from my experience um I like I honestly never thought I would order from them but, uh, because I'm not a big fan of the art, you know, like, I have recently come to love Josephine Wall's art and some things on there, but I think they're getting more and more better options, um, when it comes to their art. It's just not my style. It's, I'm not saying their art sucks or anything. It's just, I'm a weirdo and I like different stuff, but, um, but yeah, this, this company and Canvas is amazing in my opinion, so. I will be using um, multiple pins during this whip and chat. Most of them are all from my favorite, uh, redneckbeauty.com. I will put uh, the link of everything I'm using in the description box, like where to get it. Um, except for one pin I'm going to be using is actually my new one. Let me start with that one. This is from Custom Diamond Painting Pins by TJ on Facebook. This is the new Humini comb I just. Well, one, pretty much, because what you do is you put me, please, in the comments, and if you get picked through the random generator thing or whatever, then you get it, but you still have to pay for it and stuff. It's not like you really win it. It's just you get chosen to actually buy that pin, which is like, I don't know how I feel about that, but at the same time, he does have amazing pens. Also, I'll put that link also in the description box. Like I said, everything I am using, I'll put down there, and I got my new purple tree finally got it thank you Pam so gorgeous this is from uh, Wilson 3d designs on Etsy um, from the shop owner her name's Pam yeah obsessed love it I love purple but yeah and the color I'm going to be starting on is 702 DMC code 702 green color um, oh yeah, this canvas, did I say, I said it was Splatter Alien, this is A50, what is this, I wrote it down, like, I think it's 51 by, I can't even read my own writing, <laughs> 51 by 64 centimeter, um, partial square drill. So, yeah, alright, let me dump some of this in here. I'm so excited, I'm almost done with this, I've honestly, like, been lagging on this canvas purposely um, because I'm waiting for some to get another canvas to get here that I want to start next you know I do have like it's not like I don't have any to start I just really want to start I'm trying to do different companies for you guys here on YouTube so um, yeah I'm excited I ordered <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, from a lot of new companies a lot of canvases so I'm expecting, I think, like seven or eight paintings, to be honest with you. It's a little outrageous, but whatever. It was funny because on Facebook, like, I was scrolling through the group feed, and it's all, someone put, like, 
um, it's like a de-stashing, you know, group, like where you sell paintings you like when you're trying to like de-stash or get rid of some. And someone posted like, why do you, um, I have a question, why do you guys, some of you guys want to sell your paintings? Like, why'd you get them in the first place? Or like, not like with that attitude or anything, but like basically that's what she was saying. And I commented, um, because I'm a hoarder and I buy them faster than I can do them. Like, <laughs> and everyone liked it. It was so funny though. Like, but it's so true. Like, I already have, like, I don't even want to tell you how many canvases I have not finished. Um, and I just ordered, like, eight more. Freaking, I need help. I need help. <laughs> Sorry, um, I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Well, it's, what, been, like, a week or so. Like, I did a post-review on, um, Ancient Heart by Dreamer Designs. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I loved it. I I want to order from them again. I was actually going to from that artist because I love her, um art but I'm, I think I'm just gonna wait because I did go a little overboard the week of Christmas getting more so but yeah I'm definitely definitely ordering from them again it did suck that the drills like ran out but at least they like answered me really quickly so that was cool and they like you know sent them to me quick so that yeah but how was your guys's holidays did you guys have a good Christmas um gosh it really has been a minute since I've done a whip and chat. Um, what did I do for Christmas? Oh yeah, nothing. <laughs> Let's see, um, I hung out with my boyfriend. Um, I opened my presents. He got me some really pretty um, white gold, 14 karat white gold diamond earrings, like hoop earrings. I have really small ears. My dad used to call me mouse ears growing up. Yeah, uh, because they are so small, just like my, my mom's. Um, so yeah, he got me these really pretty, pretty much baby earrings, um, for Christmas, which was super sweet of him. Um, I also got gifts from my mother. She sent me, she lives in Louisiana. Um, she told me not to open them until Christmas and I didn't. I was a good girl <laughs> and, um, it was really cool. She got me a New Orleans magnet for when, uh, she went to Mardi Gras like a year or so ago, you know, before the whole COVID thing happened. Um... She got me some, like, do you guys remember, you know, the Crayola crayons, like, when you were a kid? There was this color, slate blue. I don't know if anybody remembers that color, but she got me Ugg boots, um, that color. It's, they're really pretty. Like, I was stoked on that. Um, so she got me, because I'm obsessed. I even have Ugg slippers <laughs> that I just got. They're, like, clod hoppers, but I love them. Um, so she got me those, and she got me a few pairs of, like, me high socks that I'm obsessed with too, all different colors. Um, what else? She got me, oh, like those caramel chocolate truffle candies, bomb. I ate those in like one night. Um, <laughs> what else? What else? What else? She got me a sock. Oh, uh, a shirt. Um, just like a pretty, I think it was from American Eagle or something. Um, oh, and then she got us a brand new knife set like royal blue beautiful pretty royal blue knife set I've never seen before it came with like nine knives or something because so I told her like she asked me what I wanted and I was like okay well I either want a new light pad I don't know why I said that I think I just want a bigger one because I love the one I have now but um or I want a knife six our knives are like hella old like on it for my dad they're like hand-me-downs from 20 years ago you know or I want a crock pot so she got me a knife set so that was really sweet of her so I was stoked on that um so yeah I mean that's pretty much oh what we did for Christmas but speaking of my mom you know I have mentioned before she caught COVID-19 she's doing so much better I'm pretty sure it's been the 14 days and she I don't know if she's back to work yet I think she is but yeah she's doing good she was fine she just had like a little stomach ache and couldn't smell or taste so thank god for that super grateful um because that shit isn't like no joke you know um what else anything else oh <laughs> and i also mentioned in my last woman chat i think like how i ordered a christmas tree from lowe's that you know didn't come when it was supposed to so i canceled it right so we ended up getting my boyfriend ended up getting two Christmas trees real Christmas trees well tell me why like I think it was two days before Christmas maybe three but I think it was two 
it showed up. The Christmas tree I ordered from Lowe's and had canceled the order. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a free tree because I did get my money back. But at the same time, I was like, what the heck is this? I got a package, you know? And I was like, okay, I'm not really expecting anything, but because it was like a huge box. So I really thought it was like a, a diamond painting. Hold on, let me turn this up. Sorry, I'm freezing. You guys, it's 36 degrees right now where I live. It's like seven in the morning and I just can't. I mean, I'll take cold weather over hot weather any day, especially where I live. It gets like, you know, in the hundreds easy, but I'm freezing my, my ass off. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I got this huge box in my front door and I'm like, what the heck? I didn't order a painting or, you know, cause that's what I thought it was. It was like this long box. Like you usually get diamond paintings in. No, nope, it was the white Christmas tree I had canceled, ordered and canceled. So I was like, uh, okay, well, I guess I got three Christmas trees now. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to my very dear friend, um, Diamond Painting with Abigail Marie for my Christmas gift. I know I've already texted her and told her thank you, but I love shouting her out just because I like to be annoying. <laughs> thank you for my coloring book. She got me an adult coloring book. The, uh, what's it called? The Griff griffin tales you know the fairy tales or whatever yeah it's super it's like a bunch of hot chicks most of them are half naked like you know dressed up as like little red riding hood and whatnot so i'm so happy i've already started coloring in it which is crazy because i never really color anymore but you know i had to i can't wait can't wait to finish that coloring book it's so i've been wanting that one for so long too it's like so creepy how she didn't know that but knew that at the same time you know <laughs> Um, so thank you for that. Uh, yeah. And what else, what else, what else? I, like, have a list of things I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, what'd you guys do for New Year's? Obviously, um, I'm assuming not much because of this whole COVID lockdown thing. Um, I didn't do anything. Me and my boyfriend made shrimp fajitas. Shrimp and chicken fajitas. Bomb. Ugh, so good. Um, uh, but that's about it. You know, oh, and the people in my park decided to blast off fireworks till like almost two in the morning. That was cute, not really. Um, I hate that because like I live in a small like trailer park, you know, <laughs> ghetto. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's I'm not saying people that live in trailer parks are ghetto, but the one I live in is very ghetto. So um, yeah, we were. Uh, it's very small, so anything loud is gonna be like jumping me out of bed and that's exactly what happened about five times that night super annoying when it came to um for the july dude people were blasting off fireworks for over a month because apparently fireworks are legal here like which is weird because when i lived in san diego they aren't legal like i don't know i don't get this whole system never will but yeah i was like what it's like freaking almost September why are these people freaking blasting off fireworks okay not really I'm exaggerating like always but you know what I mean it's like okay people have jobs we have like sleep to get to um can we not do the do this anymore it's getting really tired like that shit drives me nuts but <laughs> yeah so yeah basically I didn't do anything for New Year's except listen to my neighbors pop off fire uh, works all night um yeah that's that's pretty much about it i don't know what you guys did but i hope you guys had a great holiday both holidays i should say christmas and new year's um i hope you at least got to see your families and stuff i didn't but that's okay i got to see my dad a little bit before so that's all right you know um kind of just sucks with this whole covid thing like just changed everything but I really hope it's really starting to wake people up like when it comes to government and everything I mean I'm that's all I'm gonna say about that but um yeah I didn't really do much this past week I uh kind of just relaxed like I was just exhausted you know um I I started watching this show I got stuck on it it's so funny it's called uh it's on Amazon Prime video it's called psychic kids like and it's about these kids that have like psychic abilities like and these um adult psychics like train them and teach them how to get through like the spirits they're seeing and like 
I don't know. It was actually pretty cool. Like, I got hooked on it. I don't know why, but it ranged from kids to, like, six years old. No, not six. That's a lie. I want to say, like, eight to, um, like, you know, 18. It was actually pretty cool. They'll, like, take them to haunted houses and, like, you know, teach them how to get through their fear and get over it with the spirits they see and how to communicate with them. Like, I don't know. It was, it was awesome. Actually, I need to finish that the last season. I think there's, like, three seasons of it. And it's free with the ads. So, I was down for that. Pretty much just binge watch that all week. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it um, from what I can remember. Oh, no, that is not it. I forgot to tell you. So, Christmas Day, my, my boyfriend is good friends with one of our neighbors. They're, like, the same age and stuff. Um, anyways, he, he, Sammy is always outside. Like, he can't just sit still and relax. Like, which is fine by me. Like, please go away, you know? I mean, I hate to say that, but really, please go away. Um, so he goes outside to, like, I don't know, work on the car or talk to Jay. That's the neighbor's name. Um, so they went, he's like, hey, babe, we're going to go to the liquor store or something because we needed milk. I ran out of milk. And we were making fajitas, and I'm such a milk person. Like, I don't like water. I think it's disgusting. I know that sounds weird, but to me, it's disgusting. Anybody else don't like the taste of water, or is it just me? Um, so yeah, I was like, please go get some milk. He's like, okay, Jay's gonna go with me, or Jay's gonna take me. I'm like, okay, whatever, bye. And it took him like, I mean, I know he like lags on everything, but my boyfriend took like a long time to get freaking milk that's literally walking distance from our house. So I was like, kind of tripping on it not really I'm just like yeah, whatever he's probably just you know he's probably here by now probably just at the neighbor still no he got pulled over dude like <laughs> Christmas day I was like what the heck dude so apparently Jay is on parole okay like he has like an ankle monitor and stuff I don't I don't know you know whatever none of my business as long as you're doing good in life now that's all I care about I don't judge people for their past you know Especially because I'm not the one to talk, so I don't know. I guess they everything was closed, right? When they went to get milk, of course it's Christmas Day, so they went um, to the liquor store. It wasn't, or no, first they went to the grocery store. I'm sorry, and then they went to the liquor store. He said he was probably gonna go to the grocery store, but then if it was closed, go there. So I guess that's what happened. So anyways, they were pulling out of the liquor store. It's literally right up the street from where I live. And a cop like flipped a Yui, and uh, once they were pulling into the trailer park to come back here, um, whoop, whoop, sure enough, he like literally almost hit the curb trying to pull them over. I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" Like, it's Christmas Day, you know, anything better do whatever. So, anyways, I guess they pulled him over. Jay's on parole, so they gotta like search the vehicle and this, this, and that. And, like, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, I guess I think the cop thought. Like, this is what my boyfriend <laughs> concluded, that he, I, we think the cop thought that they were just trying to, like, pull into the park just to, like, get away from him because they had seen him, supposedly. Like, I don't know what cops think. I mean, sometimes I, I think I do, but I don't, you know? And, um, so he was like, yeah, he probably got pissed or, you know, when he seen that we actually did live here when we were pulling in. I was like, yeah, but, like, what a dick. I guess the reason was his headlight was like going out or something and so he turns on the headlight jaded when the cop pulled him over and told him that and it was working perfectly fine i was like yeah he just wanted to be a dick and like thought you guys were probably t trying to get away i mean i'm not trying to be judgmental but you know i just haven't had great experiences with cops i think one time i did he was like really cool but yeah we just won't get into it i'm not gonna talk about that right now uh but yeah I was like, well, you know, did he get a ticket or nothing? They're like, no, he just let us go after he ran our names and searched Jay's car. And I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, that was crazy. My boyfriend did get pulled over um, for Christmas Day. <laughs> and I was wondering, like, what the hell was taking you so long, dude? And he's like, yeah, well, that's what happened. I was like, oh. And it's funny because I can't see the front of the park from where I live, but... You can definitely see like the reflection of cop lights. How do I know this? Because there has been so many times where people have tried to high speed chase. Remember, I live in the hood. I really do. High speed chase and get away from cops. So they'll come into our trailer park because there's like a little 
you know, hidden back area right here and try to escape. And it has happened so many times since we've moved here. I've only lived here a couple of years, but yeah, it's just hilarious. Like, you guys aren't going to get away. Like, what are you thinking? I mean, maybe, but what's the odds, you know? Like, but they still try it. It's freaking crazy, man. There are so many... I look on our like um, local news and stuff and there's so many high speed chases and everything. It's like, and stolen cars and oh, and broken mailboxes, which is what they love to do to ours. It's like, oh my gosh, so messed up, you know, but I feel sorry for these people. Like match, I mean, it literally happens here so much. You go into the grocery store for one second and your car will be locked and everything. And there's been people that have found people under their car stealing the Cadillac converter like, or their car is not even there at all in the parking lot. It's just like freaking nuts. Like, I, I think there's a chop shop. If you guys don't know what a chop shop is, um, it's a place, illegal shop, a car shop that where they chop up cars for, and sell all the parts. So basically they'll like buy stolen vehicles from people, you know, so they can chop the parts up and or take them off and sell them. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, um, but I'm pretty sure there was like a really active one here, or running one here, not too long ago, because the stolen car problem here in my neighborhood was out of control. It was bad, dude. Like, it didn't matter if your car was locked, they didn't give a shit. They would take it and sell that, but I'm pretty sure they busted two of them since then. So yeah, but before that, it was just like a nutcase, like, <laughs> not a nutcase, I should say a shit show. I'm a nutcase, but that's a big difference <laughs> so yeah so yeah that happened um i also wanted to take a minute and talk about like this whole because i know a lot of people have, have been on youtube lately in the diamond cleaning community because it is a big deal Hold on, let me, uh, i need to change colors here but i want to talk about stolen artwork for a second hold on my toes are gonna fall off yes I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen right now because it is so freaking cold. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, let me get this color real quick. Um, now I need 701, which is right here. So yeah, um, still in our work. Not a fan. Don't like it at all. And um, when I first started, I am painting. I'm sure, as everyone says, I didn't know anything about that. You know, and I'm so glad I do now. Um, I don't think, don't like, I'm not for sure, but I don't think I've, luckily, even when I didn't know anything about it, um, have bought any stolen artwork. I've never gone onto AliExpress or, okay, I did order my first time in painting on Wish. However, it took a year to get to me, and I totally forgot about it by the time I, it got here, and I haven't even done it. I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't know if it's stolen artwork or not, you know? Plus the quality sucked anyways, never again. Um, but yeah, like, so I've never um, ordered from those places except for Wish that one time. And thank God, because I watched this video on YouTube by this chick called Illuminati, but it's spelled different. And she talks about like the ins and outs of the copyright issue and stolen artwork on the internet with like um, certain apps and Amazon Actually, it's kind of messed up, like, how they basically don't do anything about it, um, if you report it. Sometimes they'll take it down, but I don't know. So I was watching a thing on it when I started seeing, like, diamond painters post stuff, like, on YouTube about stolen artwork. Because, you know, Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club put a post up talking about how paint with diamonds was, like, trying to find artists to, like, basically copy her style, which is, like, so cheap and crazy to me, like you know they make bank like they sell so many paintings and are really well known you can't just like pay an artist to license them like i just don't understand but so speaking of that like i've been kind of oh, let me switch pens here i've been seeing on facebook a lot people recommending aliexpress like oh what paintings can i get for cheap under three dollars like dude are you serious like I mean, to each their own. I don't judge people. I understand the struggle's real, man. Like, you know, I would love to be able to buy paintings for four bucks or whatever, but I know that most likely it's going to be stolen artwork. I'm going to end up with no drills, no canvas, something. 
because that's what usually happens and shitty customer service and I would rather just save my money and that's just me you know but I just don't feel it's right for anybody to steal something let alone from a creator like imagine you creating something no matter what it was even if it was a jewelry or say it was a painting or um anything that you created and then someone to just steal that from you and profit off it without even giving you any credit profit nothing like excuse me like no that is so heartbreaking and especially for like true artists i couldn't imagine what they go through and how they feel you know what i'm saying so what i was saying before on facebook people have been saying stuff like that and i am making a point to comment under all these people's things like um because someone like for example someone put posted a on one of the groups like what's the best store from aliexpress and i literally commented none like people need to uh, and someone's like what do you mean none there are some good ones like and they mentioned a couple i was like that's not the point most of them have stolen artwork and i i i'm i just put you know i like to buy from companies that have good quality good customer service and licensed artists not stolen art but that's just me dot 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 and of course nobody commented back <laughs> you know like uh don't go there with me like would you like someone to steal from you anything let alone something you created hell no i know you wouldn't so don't say you would like but yeah um i just wanted to point a few uh, places out or i should not point them out call them out um piece by piece shop.com has um i have called these people on facebook but in, or i mean on instagram but in case you haven't or you don't follow me on instagram piece by piece shop Dot com has stolen artwork from Diamond Art Club, Diamond Painting Factory UK, uh, what was the other one? I think Treasure Studios Art, pretty sure. Um, yeah, these are all places that pay to license their artists, which is why their art is, or their paintings are expensive. But I'm telling you, it is so worth it compared to these companies. And warning signs, um, when they have over probably 100 pages of paintings to choose from, they're hella cheap. Usually it's, uh, not all the time, but usually, most likely, it's stolen art, in case you didn't know. Um, I, I literally now, like, take the time to go page by page by page every time I find a new website or a new company online, um, to make sure I'm not gonna purchase from there. Or if I'm thinking about purchasing from there, I want to make sure, um, I'm not gonna buy it or... Because I know I'm going to promote it here on my channel, you know? So I don't want to buy from somewhere and tell people to shop there that have stolen artwork. No. I don't ever want to do that. So it's a pain in the ass going through every page. But sometimes, you know, to me it's worth it. Because then if I do find stolen art, I will call them out. And hopefully make some sort of difference and convince someone or, or inform someone, I should say, to not shop there, you know? And just to do the right thing you know what i'm saying which is what i hope to do and help these artists any way i can you know it's all i really can do i really hope this stops soon but the only way it's going to stop is if people stop shopping at these places you know because without money without business then maybe they'll get the hint i need to fix this drill real quick you know what i mean so yeah that uh what was another one? Oh, everyday crafts and it's like day as in D-A-Y-E. They have stolen artwork from, I think Diamond Art Club and Diamond Painting Factory UK. Um, just, you know, you can check yourself, but I've already checked, so which is why I'm calling these people out right now. Again, in case you don't, like I said, follow me on Instagram. Um, why are these crooked? Sorry, I'm having uh, an issue here. One second like talking too much and not paying attention or something or like all messed up <sighs> okay yeah um so yeah i just wanted to like shed some light on that and you know i haven't mentioned it before on my channel which i'm really ashamed of i wish i, I said something sooner so please you guys stop shopping at these places like check like make sure they're licensed this art is licensed that you know whatever it is the company is like 
please, because it's really heartbreaking, you know, and these artists deserve so much better. And stealing anything, in my opinion, is just freaking foul and just not right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's what I do ask of anyone for, for 2021. I hope for the diamond painting community that all these diamond painters, or s at least most of them, start doing the right thing and stop buying from these shitty <coughs> companies that sell stolen artwork to make a profit off it, you know? Yeah, so, what else? Oh, did you guys get your uh, stimulus package? <laughs> I did, and guess what? It's all gone already. Thank you, uh, Diamond Painting, for spending all my stimulus money. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that I did that, but at the same time, it's for you guys, right? That's my justification anyways, is to show off beautiful artwork for people to buy um, from them. Even though I'm not getting paid to do it or uh, I'm affiliated with anybody, that's okay. Because I love sharing information and helping people. That is what I aim to do for the rest of my life, is to help people in any way I can or make them smile, you know? So yeah, I spent all my stimulus pretty much on diamond paintings. Literally all of the money I spent. Um, what else? So, on the agenda, oh, yeah, on the agenda for this week, I am going to try and post, obviously this video is going to be posted, so there's one, and then I'm going to do another Diamond Painting Pen Series episode, uh, either today or tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I got that coming up. I have a couple unboxings coming up, and hopefully, well, actually, I have one unboxing for sure, and one, this this painting will be a review, post review, probably within a couple days. Um, uh, depending on when the other painting gets here it should be here any day now um so yeah that's gonna be on the agenda hopefully for this week um and if you have watched this long um i have an announcement to make i have over 100 subscribers which thank you to all my subscribers i am so incredibly grateful for you guys like I never thought even 20 people would want to listen to me talk, let alone um, over 100. So I am doing a 100 subscriber giveaway um, to only my subscribers, of course. And if you want to participate or enter into the giveaway, whatever it's called, just comment below on this video, uh, me please, um, and I will put your name into the generator. Um, what are the prizes? The prizes are going to be, I was going to do a diamond painting, but you know what? I think I'm going to wait on that um, for my 300 subscriber giveaway. So instead, I'm just going to, uh, you guys are going to get just a $10 gift card to Amazon. And Pam from Wilson 3D Designs, a wonderful, wonderful person, a girl I've come to like basically call my friend. Um, I consider her a friend. The girl that, um, Pam, she's, you know, from that shop who makes these beautiful trays, has offered to donate um, a stacker tray to you guys, and that's like two trays with the lid and uh, the plug. This comes with a plug thing. I don't have it on me, but um, to the winner. So uh, thank you so much, Pam. You're so amazing. Um, and it's going to be a stacker tray of the color of your choice. Of course, I will have the link to her uh, Etsy shop in the description box so you can check out her stacker tray color she's got like blue gold purple red green beautiful they're all i mean look at that shiny gorgeous amazing diamond painting trays so yeah um if you guys want to enter the giveaway um subscribers only like i said and if if you haven't commented on my thing before or i don't know who you are like if your thing's private or whatever i need proof that you're my subscriber like a screenshot or something because um, that's I'm not gonna have some random person trying to creep up on free stuff um, because my subscribers don't deserve that so <clears throat> like I said you don't need to put yourself on blast but at the same time I need proof that you are subscribed to me or have been subscribed to me um, so yeah if you guys want to enter my giveaway please comment me please in the comments and um, I will enter you in and I'm going to announce the winners by Friday so that way people have a chance to watch this and enter so yeah good luck to all the contestants and again I am so grateful and thank you and I 
grown actually a lot on this YouTube journey and have made some great, incredible friends. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, I couldn't imagine uh, 20 people wanting to listen to me or watch me, let alone 100. So that's really crazy. Like, I don't really know how I feel about it. It gives me goosebumps. So thank you guys. You guys are freaking awesome and um, have really taught me a lot and taught me more to open myself up, I should say. Not taught me a lot, like, as in I've learned from you, like, information-wise, but you've taught me how to open myself up more. Like, I remember when I first started, I um, was very closed off, you know what I mean? And, like, I didn't really, like, I was nervous, didn't really know, like, what to talk about. My life isn't that interesting, in my opinion. But you guys have made me build self-confidence and, um, yeah, just taught me how to open myself up more. So I just really want to say thank you. It means so much to me, which is why I try to always comment back in your comments when you do comment and everything else, you know, because I want you to know how grateful and I am and how blessed I feel. You know what I mean? So, hold on, sorry, I'm trying to find, um, what the heck is it? Is it 906? Oh yeah, 906. Sorry, I was trying to find a bead. <laughs> um, but yeah, is this it? No, this ain't it. Sorry guys, one second. I'm so lost right now. Here it is. I was like, it's not purple, it's green. So yeah, um, that's the giveaway. Um, oh, and for the ones that comment today, you will get um, two entries into the giveaway because you watched it on the day I announced it. Does that make sense? So yeah, good luck to all the contestants. And again, thank you so much. So, like I said, I'm doing the Mrs. Crochet and Coffee giveaway, or giveaway, uh, sorry, I was talking about it, so it's, that was in my head, not giveaway, the Mrs. Crochet and Coffee Whip and Chat Challenge, right? So for the last part of this, uh, Whip and Chat Challenge, I would like to talk a little bit more about me, and maybe just tell you some things to um like it's more like a I want to do a little get to know me better segment you know what I'm saying because I know I, I don't talk much about myself per se um I'm a little introverted kind of very guarded so um yeah I wrote a list down for you guys so I didn't forget this is a little about me segment um hello my name is Jessica I'm 33 years old. Ugh. Um, I am 5'3". Um, let's see. I'm a Leo. My horoscope is a Leo. Actually, I'm on the cusp. I'm a Cancer and a Leo. Believe it or not, there is such a thing as cusps. Um, so I'm naturally bipolar, apparently, because which nothing wrong with bipolar people. I have some in my family. I love them. Um, but I am naturally bipolar, so I don't know if that's worse. I don't know why this won't come off. Sorry. Or if that's um, scary or what, but it totally makes sense to me when I found that out. It made sense because I am a fire and a water sign apparently. <laughs> so yeah, Cancer Leo, whatever. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm very humble and down to earth. I get along with pretty much any type of person except a narcissist. Um, I know because I married and divorced one. I was married and divorced by the time I was 23 years old. Um, so yeah, I don't get along with those kind of people that much. Uh, I grew up mostly in Sal Southern California, San Diego County. However, I did grow up in a military family. My dad was in the Navy for 10 years. So let's see, I was born in Hawaii. Then when I was two, I believe, two or three, I moved to San Diego. My sister was born, my little sister. Um, then we moved to Washington. I did kindergarten and first grade there. Then I moved to Louisiana, Thibodeau, Louisiana, and I did second grade there, and then I moved, I literally moved every year, which is so, it makes so much sense why I have a hard time getting close to people, because every year, when I figured out, by the time I was like seven, I believe, or six, I figured out, well, I'm going to have to move this year again, so why even make friends and get close to people, because it would break my heart every time I'd have to move as a little girl, you know, like, you make friends and then you have to leave like every year like that shit sucked you know so 
yeah, it took me a really long time to learn how to trust people and get close to people because of that. It really messed me up as a kid. But yeah, so in second grade, I, I did, or I was in second grade in Louisiana, and then we moved back to San Diego after my, because that was the 10 year mark when my dad got out of the Navy and became a CEO of a company. Um, so we moved back to San Diego. I did third grade in a public school. And then I did, uh, we went to a different school. Me and my sister went to a Christian school for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Seventh grade went to a public school. Eighth grade went back to the Christian school half the year. And then my parents got divorced. So then I went back to the public school. And then I went to high school. And then I had to change high schools because I was a bad kid. <laughs> my dad took me out of that school. And um, so I went to two different high schools. But I did graduate. I actually graduated class of 2005. So that was good. Thank you, Father, for that, because without him, I would have been not having a diploma. Um, what else? Let's see. I did attend some college. I want. I thought I wanted to have my own home daycare. I love children. I love working with children. So I went to, um, I did a home daycare program, certificate program at Penn State, and then I went after I completed that, I enrolled in Ashford University on the college courses um, to get my, I wanted to get my associates obviously, but also my bachelor's in child development. I was really interested in human development and child development, but I ended up not being able to afford that. I did do some, I did like a year and a half of college and then I, I stopped because of the divorce I was going through at the time. and life you know and I never ended up going back unfortunately but I was a nanny uh, live in and live out nanny for different families for a few uh, for many years and then I stopped doing that life happened um, I got a boyfriend the one I have now and um, you know we moved because of the horrendous situation we were in um, trying to find somewhere to live that wasn't so freaking expensive every month that would actually take someone with not so good credit, AKA me and him. <laughs> um, so we ended up moving out of our comfort zone. We both grew up in San Diego County. So we were like, it was really hard for us. We were leaving our friends and everything, but we ended up moving to a different County, a little bit more up North. I'm still in Southern California, but San Diego is like four hours away or something. So yeah it's not like we could just stop and go down there I mean we could but it's like you know it was just too much for us um, so yeah I've been living you know we moved and I've been living here ever since what like a few years I'm not gonna say where I live you know for safety reasons but um, and I really am enjoying it um, I am let's see like me as a person um, I'm really big on respect and lying. Don't disrespect me. And please, for the love of God, don't lie to me. Because I will never trust you again. And especially if you don't admit it, I will never have respect for you either as a person. If you, Especially if you don't admit that you lied. Because if you admit it, I at least have the respect that, you, or like, you know, like I, um, yeah, I respect you for admitting it, you know, like. Cause it, it takes balls to do that you know what I'm saying but yeah I'm, I'm a very guarded person and a very protective person of the people I love I don't have many friends but I have a small circle but I will do anything for my friends that are not really friends or family I consider them family once they are my friends you know what I'm saying because it takes a lot for me to trust and like someone to call them like my friend you know what I'm saying so yeah um, that's how like my personality is I guess or how I am when it comes to crafting um, I've been doing it my whole life since I was like five years old I started painting like with watercolors and then my aunt before she passed away rest in peace my aunt Melissa um, my mom's sister every time I'd go hang out with her at her pad she used to pick me up me and my cousin Stephanie she's the old we're the oldest two of the family um, we used to get like beads like big pearls and you know gems and like you know just fake, not real gems, but like, you know, fake jewelry beads and stuff, and we'd get hot glue and glue them on like fake construction paper things, 
I don't know, it was just something fun to do as a kid, I guess. So she just like threw it out. It's like, here you go, play with this. You know, it was so cool. I loved her. I still do. I just, you know, I miss her so much. But, um, yeah, so, you know, that, I did that. And then I went from that to, um, I used to write poetry, like my whole high school career. I've always written poems, starting from like eighth grade, actually. So middle school, too. Um, so poetry, writing was a big thing for me. Um, and then I got to, into scrapbooking for a while. Got the whole Cricut machine and all that when it first came out. And then I just like, I was over it quick. I don't know why, like I love doing it, but it, it was like so expensive. Like all the stickers, especially if you want to get like creative with, creative with it. It's like, geez, you know, like I really couldn't afford it. So I stopped doing that. I started decorating. I used to decorate champagne bottles and stuff with like beads. I'd hot glue them and, you know, letters and all that stuff. And then I went from that to an adult coloring craze that I still have not gotten over. Um, I love to color so much. And uh, to the diamond painting. So yeah, it's my uh, crafting career. I've always been an artsy, crafty type of person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that'll be something that I will never not love to do. Um, what else? I love animals. The past couple of years I've been getting more spiritual, I guess you could say, more conscious of things around me, like important things when it comes, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but I feel like um, I'm starting to really see like what life is really about not materialistic stuff I mean I kind of always knew that but like it's really just affecting me now like I'm trying to like live more with nature I love to garden and like you know I'm starting to actually have feelings for insects before I just be like oh kill it I hate it you know because I like hate bugs but I'm starting to like realize they have feelings not feelings but like you know I just feel like I'm gonna have bad karma if I kill a spider now and like it's kind of shitty because they still scare the crap out of me but <laughs> you know what I mean but yeah um I've just become more aware with my spirituality and getting more into the unexplained and realizing like I don't need to have all the answers and I just need to let it let go and just trust the process with life, you know, um, so yeah, I've just been growing a lot in my spirituality, I guess, and growing up, I don't know, um, I never thought I wanted to grow up, but I kind of like it, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, um, I love to cook, my favorite thing to cook is probably the top three things that I cook is fried chicken, southern fried chicken, my mom is from Texas, so it is bomb.com you got a double dip and if you don't know what I'm saying then you don't know but if you know you know uh, you got a double dip when you make fried chicken um, so southern fried chicken I make bomb spaghetti oh, shish kebab my freaking tip came out sorry about that um, I was trying to take the wax off the end and but yeah um, spaghetti I make bomb Italian spaghetti and homemade garlic bread and frijoles believe it or not so yeah you go from the American to the Italian to the Mexican. I can, I'm pretty diverse in my cooking. Um, I make the best, in my opinion, the best homemade pinto beans. They call it frijoles. Um, bomb. Uh, it takes all day. Literally, you're cooking that all day, steaming up and sweating your house, but it is worth it, the end result. Um, you've got to have jalapenos. I'm just saying, you've got to have jalapenos. It, it ain't nothing without a lot of salt onion, jalapenos, cilantro, and bacon. And a little bit of ketchup and tapatio sauce. But that's just me. <laughs> Some people don't like spicy. I don't really like spicy food either because I get heartburn hella easy. But if you can hang with a little bit of spice, I recommend that if you ever make that. Um, so yeah. That's what I love to cook. Or what I'm good at cooking, I guess I should say. Um, I love to cook everything. I like to bake more so cook. I've always baked like brownies and cakes and stuff since I was a little kid. My mom would like 
teach me and then make me pretty much. My dad would be like, uh, can we need brownies tonight? And of course I'm not gonna say no. You know, I'm a little kid. Like, I want chocolate brownies every day, you know? So, oh, and I'm obsessed with Coca-Cola and chocolate. Always have been since I was little, always will be. I literally was so bad. I used to sneak Coca-Colas in my room because I was like literally so bad. My mom would be like, she had a rule. I could only have one Coke a day because she, if she didn't make that rule, I'd drink the whole 12 pack like in one day. I'm not even kidding. Yes. Oh, shish. Sorry guys. <laughs> I hate when it does that. But yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm obsessed still to this day with Coca-Cola, Pepsi. No, thank you. Um, I'm more of a dark soda person, but I do not like Pepsi, Coca-Cola all the way. Um, and I'm obsessed with chocolate, especially dark chocolate. Not a big fan of white chocolate. Milk chocolate, not so much, really. I'm more of a dark chocolate person. But I love chocolate in general. Like, don't have it around me, please. Because I'm going to beg and be annoying about it. Give me a piece. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's about me. I have, you know, like I said, one little sister. We're three years apart. Um, I have two nieces, one nephew. My parents are divorced, have been divorced since I was like 13, um, but I do have a stepmom. They've been, my dad and her have been together now, what, like, for, I don't know, like 12 years. Um, my mom's got a boyfriend who she's been with, with I think about 10 years too, or 11, not sure, pretty close, around the same as my dad. Um, I love them all. Um, we all get along great now, you know, everything's great. I love my little family. Um, I miss them, you know. The only person I really get to see is my dad because he is the only one that lives in California still. Um, I messed that one up. So it kind of sucks, but I did get to see my sister for 4th of July, which was badass because I hadn't seen her in like five years or so, like maybe longer. But, um, and I got to meet, I've already met my oldest niece, but I got to meet my other niece and nephew for the first time this year, or last year. So that was probably the only good thing about 2020 that happened to me. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So that's a little bit about me. Um, in case anybody wanted to know. Um, again, I just wanted to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to me. And um, it really means a lot. And I, I'm trying harder to film more videos. Um, I, I know I've done a lot better lately, but I promise you I... I will be posting more. It's just, you know, life is just crazy, especially in 2020, man. I hope that shit is in the past. Like, straight up, this year, better act right. That's all I have to say because last year was just, it just needs to be forgotten. And not even in the history books. You know what I'm saying? Just, ew, go away, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure people can feel me on that. So, but yes, again, thank you guys so much, whoever is watching. And for all of my subscribers, please, um, again, remember to comment me, please, in the dis sorry description box um, so I can enter you guys all into the drawing. And again, if, if I ask you to provide proof and it's because, you know, I haven't seen you comment before or you're private, your profile or whatever, please, you're going to have to send me um, proof that you have been subscribed to me or whatever, okay? <clears throat> so, yeah. And again, thank you, Pam, for offering to donate a prize that's really awesome of you um again i will link all um pam or 3d this uh wilson designs link in the description box so you guys can check out our trays for the winning product if you win for the giveaway um i will be posting the link to the pins um that i used in the video in the description box the painting i will post in the description box in case anyone's interested i highly recommend it it's really easy and beautiful colors are bright and fun to do so yeah i'll post the link um there too of this painting and uh i will also be posting shout out to miss mrs crochet and coffee um i'm sure you guys have heard of her if not just in case by chance I will post her YouTube channel, the link to her YouTube channel in the description box as well. Again, thank you guys all for watching. I guys, I got, ugh, can't talk right now. I'm like so cold. I can barely talk. Sorry. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you had great holidays and remember 2021. Let's just 
do this right this year. Let's try our hardest to get it together and not buy stolen artwork, please, if you are in the diamond painting community, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video. And um, I just hope everyone, all of us, has a great start of the year, you know, because last year was just, again, needs to be forgotten. So yeah, you guys all have a great day. Thank you for watching. And remember to comment in the description box um, if you want to enter the giveaway, okay? See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, real quick. Um, I forgot to mention because I filmed the Whippy Chat video this morning. Uh, I wanted to also let you know um, I will be sending the winner some patty wax. Um, and I wanted to show you real fast what the options are. This is my little patty wax case. Well, one of them. <laughs> yeah, we won't, we won't talk about it. Oh, I hate that noise. Okay, so you will be getting a $10 gift card to Amazon, um, a stacker tray, which, one second, I want to show you the full thing. Here we go. So you'll be getting a stacker tray from Pam, who is over at 3D Wilson Designs, or Wilson 3D Designs on Etsy, uh, the color of your choice. So it looks like that. That's a stacker tray, okay? Beautiful, amazing, best trays you will find, in my opinion, of course. Um, and you will be getting two, not one, but two patty waxes. So, oh, they smell so good. So the options are, and you can choose these as well for if you win, you know what I'm saying? The giveaway. I got mango papaya, Jamaica me crazy. Can you see these? Yes. Um, enchanted, no, not enchanted apple. I'm sorry. I'm not going to give you a used one. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. Um, Bavarian. Elderweiss, or Bavarian Elderweiss, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. Um, Rainbow Sherbert, Mexican Ice Cream, The Nursery, uh, Polyjuice Potion, Just Peachy, and not Just Peachy again, one second. I should be a little more prepared for this, shouldn't I? I know I had another one. <sighs> Hold on, you guys, I'm so sorry. I thought I had them already, but I did not. There's gonna be another one. I, well, I was gonna put in a surprise little sample patty wax too. So I'm not gonna tell you what that is. So yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Bite Me. It looks no, it's, it looks like this. It's a red one. I'm sorry, I, I should have been more prepared and had it on deck, but I don't. So I think it's Bite Me, it's a red one. So again, bite me that you don't see right now because I am very irresponsible sometimes, I apologize. Uh, will be one of the options. Mango Papaya, Jamaican Me Crazy, Vivarium, Elderweiss, The Nursery, Mexican Fried Ice Cream, Just Peachy, Polyjuice Potion, and Rainbow Sugar. So those will be the winning patty waxes. We'll get two of them of your choice, a stacker tray of your choice. Um, uh, color wise and um, the $10 gift card to Amazon for my 100 subscriber giveaway again please comment me please um, if you're interested and if I ask for proof you will need to provide it um, and obviously if you win you're gonna have to give me your address because I need to send you the petty waxing one and Pam over there at the Etsy shop will need it to send you your winning stacker tray so that'll be fun and exciting um, yeah, I just wanted to, sorry, I'm trying to get this all, uh, back over here. Oh, I hate that noise. Again, I just wanted to say thank you to Mrs. Crochet and Coffee for this opportunity to do this Whip and Chat Challenge, and good luck to all the other contestants for this Whip and Chat Challenge as well. Um, I am going to also, again, I know I told you this in the Whip and Chat video, but I just want to... I'm going to be doing a surprise unboxing. Surprise as in I don't know what the hell it is. Um, <laughs> because it, I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't get a tracking number or a, hey, you have a delivery email, nothing. So I'm going to be probably posting that next. I'm not sure of that. Or I'm going to be doing the, um, the Diamond Painting Pen Series Episode 2. So, I mean, if not today, then, you know, sometime this week. Um, and I also want to let you guys know I will be doing 
I know I mentioned in my last book chat, but in case you're watching, you didn't watch it last time, um, I'm going to be trying to be doing an unboxing, um, then a review, you know, a, a unboxing again, different place, post to review. Like, I want you guys, like, I personally like to see more post reviews than unboxings because there's like a million unboxings and I would rather know what's up with the finished product than the product not even done. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion, but I'm assuming I'm not alone in my thoughts so I just wanted to let you guys know that's probably what I'm gonna be doing from now on on my channel and um, yeah also I'm going to be posting a the storage video I was mentioning before um, of all the different storage methods I have used have and what I use them for because they're not all necessarily for drills in your kits um, you'll see what I mean when I post the video so Stay tuned, keep a lookout for that. Um, I will hopefully be posting that this week, no later than next week because I have been waiting to post that, um, to do that video, I should say, like for months now. But I finally got all the things in the mail that I wanted to show you guys and all the options. So yeah, that's gonna be fun and exciting. I hope you guys uh, watch that when it is up. And again, I just wanted to give a big shout out and lots of love to all my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. You guys are so amazing to me and so dear to my heart. And um, you deserve, whoever, you guys all deserve something, but fortunately I, I can't afford that. So I will be doing a giveaway every, from now on, every 200. So it's gonna go 100, this one obviously, and then 300 subscriber, and then 500 subscriber, 800 subscriber, and then 1,000, which I highly doubt I'll even get like to five, but still, if it were to happen, that's gonna be my get down, so. Stay tuned for the next one, I guess, at 300 if it happens, um, in case you don't win this one. But please know, even if you don't, there's always going to be pop-up giveaways, and I still am so grateful for you, regardless if you enter or win or not. It doesn't matter. It's not about that. I just want you guys all to know I'm so very grateful and feel so blessed for all of you. So thank you, and don't forget to enter if you want to um, the giveaway. And shout out to all my subscribers. Lots of love again. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye for reals this time, okay? See you next time.